William Adams, and I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia, and I also work out of Tampa, Florida as well. I currently hold a Class II unrestricted condition air contract in the state of Georgia issued by the Secretary of State Office. I also have a Class II boiler license issued by the Fire Marshal of the state of Georgia, and I have a degree from Southern Tech, Southern Polytechnical State University, now known as Kennesaw State University in Marietta, Georgia, in civil engineering. A certificate issued by Johnson Controls Institute in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the DX9100 and other systems. I also have a Mitsubishi design class issued by the location in Swanee, Georgia. And I also have a LG DOAS certificate issued by their location in Alpharetta, Georgia. These are all useful for BRS, BRBs, and the controls for military and state department and other reservation schools, universities that have a lot of DX9100 systems. My area of expertise has been as a subject matter expert with a review committee exam of the HVAC license in the state of Georgia several years in a row. Uh, numerous commissioning type projects such as the location of improperly installed expansion tanks in the wrong location, how it impacts the chiller and its flow, those type of troubleshooting problems and how they tie in with Niagara Core control and vice versa. The benefits, first and foremost, is accessibility. Today, most learning can take place through online and be much more effective in many ways than current classroom instruction. I've taught at numerous schools, been department head at Lincoln Tech when they got the accreditation. A lot of hands-on in classroom is not really what it should be. And most students or people trying to learn the trade or codes or whatever need to have some hands-on experience that's really in the field. But before they do that, they need to have basic fundamentals to know what to put their hands on and where the place to equip. That's a code issue. And the other one is service type issue. Because of my practical background in the field and my engineering background, I understand correct design systems that are incorrectly installed sometimes in or operated in the field. I can ascertain the challenges that this presents to most systems currently in a very practical way for most people to resolve their questions. If you have additional questions, you can locate me at upstrive.com and I would be more than happy to help you with whatever challenges you may have presenting to you currently in your particular areas, whether it be code, troubleshooting, commissioning, what have you, BAS challenges. All those are under my umbrella of expertise.